Welcome to Hamad's Biology Online Lecture Room. My name is Hamad Ahmad Jan, lecturer in Botany, Kurtaba University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar Campus, Hyderabad, Peshawar. The topic of this video lecture is Metabolism of Virus Infected Plants. This is the second part of this topic. Number one, respiration. Many studies have been made of the effects of virus infection on the rates and pathways of respiration. But it is not possible to relate the results to the processes involved in virus replication. In summary, for many host virus combinations where necrosis does not occur, there is a rise in respiration rate which may begin before symptoms appear and continue for a time as disease develops. In chronically infected plants, respiration is often lower than normal. In the one systemic disease so far examined in detail, there is no detectable change in the pathway of respiration. In host virus combinations where necrotic local lesions develop, there is an increase in respiration as necrosis develops. This increase is accounted for at least in part by activation of the hexose monophosphate shunt pathway. Usually respiration and other areas of metabolism have been examined separately. Tessie et al. 1994 made a detailed examination of the infection of Cucurbita pipu cartilidans by Cucurbita mosaic virus to provide an assessment of the influence of virus infection on the rates of respiration and photosynthesis together with the activities of enzymes of primary metabolism and changes in the synthesis of soluble and insoluble carbohydrates, amino acids and organic acids and proteins. On studying whole cartilidans, Tessie et al. 1994 showed that the characteristic starch accumulation in early stages of infection is reversed in later stages. A decline that is correlated with a reduced capacity for starch synthesis, ADP glucose pyro pyrolase and a rise in the capacity for starch degradation, total starch hydrolase, starch phosphorylase. Newly assimilated carbon was lost at a lower rate from infected cartilidans and less was incorporated into structural carbohydrates. Phosphorylated intermediates including organic acids and more into soluble sugars, amino acids and proteins. Later in infection, there was a marked increase in respiratory capacity and a substantial alteration in carbohydrate metabolism with the capacity being stimulated for the oxidative pentose phosphate pathway. Glycolysis, the tricarboxylic acid cycle 
anaplerotic reactions and oxidative electron transport. While there were no overall change in photosynthetic rate, infection either reduced or did not affect the capacity of the photosynthetic carbon reduction pathway or the photosynthetic carbon oxidative pathway. Number two, photosynthesis. In a tobacco mutant in which some islands of leaf tissue had no chlorophyll TMV replication occurred in a white leaf areas in the intact plant. However, replication did not occur if the white tissue was detached and floated on water immediately after inoculation. Detached white tissue supplied with glucose supported TMV replication in indicating that the process of photosynthesis itself is not necessary for replication of this virus. Nevertheless, virus infection usually affects the process of photosynthesis. Reduction in carbon fixation is the most commonly reported effect in leaves showing mosaic or yellows diseases. This reduction usually becomes detectable some days after infection. Photosynthetic activity can be reduced by changes in chloroplast structure, by reduced content of photosynthetic pigments or robisco, or by reduction in specific proteins associated with the particles of photosystem 2. However, such changes appear to be secondary occurring sometime after infection when much virus synthesis has already taken place. In tobacco plants infected with various strains of TMV, electron transport rates were reduced when loss of chlorophyll occurred. In inoculated leaves, photosystem 2 appeared to be irreversibly damaged in inoculated leaves even when no macroscopic symptoms were apparent. A variety of effects of localized and systemic TMV infection in tobacco were observed in experiments with isolated chloroplasts. However, some enzyme activities were little affected. Some effects on photosynthesis are known that appear to be closely linked in time to the early period of maximum virus production. In chloroplast isolated from Chinese cabbage leaves infected with TYMV, the Hill reaction and cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation were all increased compared with healthy leaves during the phase of active virus multiplication. At a late stage of infection, photosynthetic activity was lower than in controls measured on chloroplasts isolated from whole plants. In young Chinese cabbage leaves infected with TYMV, there was a substantial diversion of the products of photosynthetic carbon fixation away from sugars and into organic acids and amino acids. This change was most marked during the period of rapid virus increase and rupture and return to the normal pattern when virus replication was near completion. An increase in the activity of the enzymes 
फास्फिनोल पायरुवेट कार्बाक्सिलेज एंड एस्पार्टेट अमीनो ट्रांसफिरेज फॉलोड ए सिमिलर टाइम कोर्स मेगारोसी एट आल नाइनटीन फाउंड ए सिमिलर शिफ्ट फ्राम द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ शुगर्स टू अमाइनो एसिड्स एंड ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स इन स्क्वाश प्लांट्स सिस्टेमिकली इन्फेक्टेड विद स्क्वाश मोजेक वायरस दे आइसोलेटेड क्लोरोप्लास फ्राम हेल्दी एंड डिजीज लीव्स एंड शोट देट both produced a similar pattern of carbon fixation products and their total carbon fixed was about the same they concluded that the virus induced production of amino acids was taking place in the cytoplasm the effects of infection by tmv and same mv on the crassulation acid metabolism came in two orchid species are described by isaguer mayoral et al 1993 in both species tmv significantly reduced cam activity in leaves and in one species same mv almost completely inhibited the diurnal change in tritable tritable acidity these changes were correlated with ultra structural changes in chloroplasts of virus infected leaves in summary during the period of rapid replication virus infection may cause a diversion of the early product of carbon fixation away from sugars and into pathways that lead more directly to the production of building blocks for the synthesis of nucleic acids and proteins the most general result of virus infection is a reduction in photosynthetic activity but as shown in cmv infection of cucurbita pipu cartilidans there may be no overall effect in the relatively early stages of infection any reduction in photosynthesis is likely to arise from a variety of biochemical and physical changes the relative importance of different factors varies with the disease number 3 transpiration in chronically virus infected leaves transpiration rate and water content have been found to be generally lower than in corresponding healthy tissues the reported effects of over the first 1 to 2 weeks after inoculation vary results are difficult to compare and interpret because different viruses and host species have been used together with different conditions of growth and different tissue sampling procedures Bedrock 1972 used the cobalt chloride paper method to estimate relative transpiration rates and to give a measure of stomatal opening. He compared in intact Chinese cabbage plant dark green islands in leaves showing mosaic pattern due to TYMV virus infection and various islands of tissue fully invaded by the virus in darkness are low light intensity stomata in darker green and pale green islands were closed while those in islands of more severely affected lamina were open in plants that had been held in fully daylight the dark and pale green island were transpiring rapidly transpiration from severely affected islands was much less 
These and other experiments showed that TYMV infection lowers the responsiveness of the stomata to change in light intensity. The lowered response being most marked with strains causing the greatest reduction in chlorophyll. Because of diminished transpiration, the temperature of sugar beet leaves in susceptible plants infected with BNYVV was two to three times higher than that of a tolerant variety. Thank you for watching the video.